Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, in this clip we're just continuing on with the um, design featured practice paper. Um, we've got this piece of equipment here that is um, for use at children's playground and we're just answering these questions. So <clears throat> we've answered question one. Question two says, is, is broadly similar but it says analyse and evaluate the playground equipment in terms of the inclusion of safety features. So what can we say about safety features and, and you, it might have been useful to read that because you might have added a safety feature in here because of course a safety feature could be a feature that would be um, suitable for the user. So um, let's look at safety features here. Well we've got recessed fittings, um, we've got non-slip surfaces, um, I think they're the two most obvious. So if we say all fittings are flush I see by mean flush there's like countersunk fittings fittings that are not going to stick out um, and then we can say uh, so that would be one mark um, so children will not be injured On what can we say protruding pro thing bolts or bolt heads um, so they're just making sure that there's no bits sticking out that children are going to catch themselves on sliding down a slide or something and then catching a bolt or something like that so I think that would be two marks there and then we can say non-slip surfaces so if we just mention non-slip surface surfaces um, have been used to minimize uh, the risk of slips and falls I mean, you could add something about that in wet because it's obviously said it's it's meant to be used outside. Um, I think that's okay there. I think that's four marks there. <clears throat> um, that's kind of um, two reasons and two justifications. Okay, let's look at question three here. It says study the table in data uh, data in table two, um, and and ta table two contains anthropometric data. Um, so it's it's about the the height of children um, in each group or the middle group and each ends of the group arm length and hand width analyze and evaluate how a designer would use the anthropometric data in table two to design the playground equipment so if we just take a quick look back things we've got obviously this diameter here um, would be one thing you've got steps here You've got a climbing kind of climbing bars at the back here and handholds, um, and all these things would be dependent on this data here. So we can say that all. Um, sorry, what am I doing? We can say the question. Um, the designer could use the height dimension to calculate um, the diameter of the I don't know tube or pipe uh, parts that children can um, climb through um, to ensure um, the, I don't know, size is um, 
all users. I mean, they could use all that data, but this one would be, the height data would be specific to make it sure that um, the children could walk through, and they, in particular, the, the oldest children could fit through um, with relative ease. Um, we could say the arm length data, so, I mean, all, this kind of applies to all the data, but if we say the arm length data, um, the arm length, data uh, could be used to provide handholds and climbing bars that all users in the group can reach. So we're saying that, you know, for the, we're making sure that the largest student, the largest um, children can fit, can fit through the tube. And we're saying that things like the climbing bars and that can be reached um, easily or be accessible to all the, the user group and I think that would be that would easily get us the four marks there okay so that was question two and question three thank you for watching Mr Ridley's design and technology